Pippin Pharmaceuticals in association with Higher Secondary Principals Forum. Hello students, the topic that I am going to take up today is a poem. The title of the poem is My Mother at 66 and the poet is Kamala Das. To give you a brief introduction about the poet Kamala Das, Kamala Das was born in the year 1934 in Malabar, Kerala. She is one of India's foremost poets in English. She wrote by the pen name Madhavi Kuti and in her poems she mainly explores the dynamics of human relationships with remarkable sensitivity. Now let's go to the poem My Mother at 66. Driving from my parents home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me doze, open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she looked as old as she was, but soon put the thought away and looked out at the young trees sprinting, the merry children spilling out of their homes, but after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, worn, pale, as a late winter's moon, and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear, but all I said was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. So now let us analyze the poem. Let us go through the poem line by line. This, the uniqueness of this poem is that the poem is written in a single sentence and it has been punctuated with commas and there is no rhyme scheme as such. And this poem is autobiographical in nature. So let us begin with this poem. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, the poet says that she was traveling from her parents' home to her own place and she was traveling to the airport which is at Cochin. The poet is traveling by car and a mother is sitting beside her. So as the poet is traveling, she happens to glance at a mother who is sitting beside her and she is shocked at the transformation that her mother has undergone. Her mother is dozing. Now dozing means being half asleep and her mother is dozing open mouth. A person who is dozing with mouth open, it's a sign that the mother is probably not active, she is dull and she is sick. And the fact that she is sick is confirmed by the paleness of her face. Her face ashen like that of a corpse. Now what does the term corpse mean? A corpse is a dead body. So the mother's pale face resembles that of a corpse. And the poet is pained at the transformation that her mother has undergone. Her mother, though it is a morning, it's early in the morning that they are traveling, the mother seems to be so dull and inactive, she appears to be half asleep with her mouth open and she seems to have turned very pale. Now this pains the poet and the poet realizes that her mother really looked all of 66 years old. She looked as old as she was. You know, the title of the poem says, My Mother at 66. 66 refers to the age of the mother. So she is pained, but she cannot continue to look at a mother who is sitting beside her in this particular condition. So uh, in order to divert her mind, in order to distract herself from the thoughts of a mother seemingly close to death, she looks out of the window, the car window. And when the poet looks out of the car window, she finds that the images that she sees are a contrast to the one that is there, you know, uh, in front of her, the image of her mother. The contrasting images are refreshing and you find that 
in order to divert her mind, she soon put that thought away and looked out. Looked out at what? Young trees sprinting, the merry children spilling out of their homes. So we have got two images here. The images of young trees sprinting. Sprinting means running fast. And the second image is of children happily running out of their homes. Now, are the trees really running? No, they aren't. It's an illusion. What creates this illusion? As the car is moving forward fast, it appears as if the young trees are running backwards quickly. And this is an uh, illusion that you get of the trees moving, you know, because the car is speeding. And you find that the children there, they seem to be spilling out of their homes, like a bag of beans. When you open up a bag of beans, everything comes rushing out. Similarly, you find these children are so joyous, they come rushing out of their homes and this is a contrast to the image of a mother. So what are the points of contrast brought out through these lines? The trees are young, the trees and children, they are young, they are energetic, full of energy. In contrast, the mother is old and she is inactive. The young trees and children are full of life and vigor, while the mother is dull, she is sick and very close to death. So uh, she is able to distract herself for some time, but finally the reality strikes her because the mother is sitting beside her in the car and uh, she knows that it is inevitable, the inevitable will happen. So Kamala Das finally reaches the airport and after the airport's security check, she just turns back and looks at her mother. Her mother has come to see her off and she looks at her mother and she feels that her mother now re resembles a late winter's moon. Her mother's face has become worn, pale, both mean the same. Worn refers to paleness, paleness of the face, which is caused due to illness. And here we find that the poet is comparing the mother's face to a late winter's moon. Why is the poet comparing the mother's face to a late winter's moon? Here are the points of comparison. Now, winter is the last of the seasons of the year. We can correspond it with the stages in human life. The spring, which corresponds with our childhood. Summer, which corresponds to the adult stage of our lives. We have autumn, which is probably middle age, you know, when it comes to the life of human beings. And the last stage is winter, which corresponds with old age and death in our lives. So, if we take up winter here, winter will correspond to old age. So, uh, winter's moon, winter's moon, is dull, it is not bright, it has lost its luster. And similarly, the mother, mother's face has lost its brightness and it has become dull and pale. And the winter's moon is slowly waning away. Similarly, we find that the mother is moving closer and closer to her death. These are the reasons why Kamala Das feels that her mother is like a late winter's moon. And felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. Okay? So Kamala Das finds her mother, uh, you know, like a pale moon, you know, winter's moon. And the same fear that was present in her during the childhood resurfaces. She feels the same ache. She has the same fear. What is this fear? What does this familiar ache and fear refer to, refer to? For children, their parents are symbols of security. Children will always feel secure when their parents are around them. So the child's greatest fear will be separation from its parents or its mother. And you will normally find a child going in search of its parents uh, because that is what they want as, it, as the parents form their world and they feel secure in it. And now when the poet looks at a mother, 
the same fear surfaces the fear of separation or fear of loss and she feels that her mother is very close to death okay and she is unable to digest this truth that she will lose her mother soon but can the poet show her fears to her mother she cannot so how does kamala das try to hide her pain and how does she try to you know actually hide her fear from her mother all i said was see you soon amma so kamala das uh, tells amma i'll see you soon let us meet we'll meet again very soon it's a kind of reassurance to the mother you're fine everything is okay and we will meet again and all i did was smile and smile and smile so why does the poet smile and smile and smile it's not that she is happy it's not because she is happy that she is smiling she is smiling to actually hide a fear at the thought of losing a mother and a smile is a kind of assurance to the mother that yes we are going to meet again soon so uh in this poem we find that the poet kamala das she uh, she is actually speaking about how uh, she is unable to be with the mother at the stage when she needs her most in life okay so if we uh, speak of the if we go to the theme of the poem we find that the poem is all about loneliness that defies that defines old age the poem is about loneliness when people grow old and children leave the homes because of uh, their own lives that they have got to lead the parents who are alone they go through this loneliness you know the poem is also about sufferings of the aged people old age comes with its own set of problems you you have health problems and other problems and they have to go through these problems you know when the children are not around they have so loneliness actually accompanied by suffering the pressures of modern life which separate the children from their aged parents so uh, in the beginning i spoke about complex subtleties of human relationship we find that the poet uh, is leaving to her own house despite knowing that a mother is sick despite knowing that she needs her despite knowing that a mother is you know lonely this is exactly what is meant by pressures of modern life because each one they have their own set of problems they have got their own set of priorities and many a times you cannot do what you want because of these reasons kamala das loves a mother it's not that she does not love a mother kamala das might have badly wanted to stay back with her mother but sadly she is unable to stay with her mother and hence she is returning to her own home so these are reasons which actually make the aged people lonely okay again the poem is about fears and insecurities of the poet the fear of separation the fear of loss the pain of losing her mother to death these, these are also reflected in the poem by the poet and it speaks of paradoxes and complexities of human relationships in the modern world human relationships are complex human emotions are complex that is what i have already taken up in the poem it's not that the poet does not have any kind of bonding with a mother it's not that the poet actually is indifferent to the sufferings of a mother but the poet too is helpless because of her own commitments and the kind of life that she has to carry forward she has her own life to lead so these uh, these uh, this particular theme is actually reflected in the poem uh, in the form of you know loneliness suffering that the aged people uh, actually go through the kind of modern life which actually forces the poet to be so in the past when people lived in uh, joint families aged people were taken care of they were secure but today 
uh, because of nuclear families and people moving away to towns and cities in search of work, it has become impossible to stay with the parents and take care of them in their old age for many. So the, I hope uh, this, the theme of the poem is clear to you. Now, every poem is, uh, the beauty of every poem is enhanced by some poetic devices. So let us take up some important figures of speech that are found in this poem. Her face ashen like that of a corpse. Now, it's simile. Why is it simile? Here you find that there is direct comparison between the mother's face and that of a corpse. And the point of comparison is that both the faces are pale. So there is direct comparison. Mother's pale face is directly compared to that of a corpse. Let's go on to the second figure of speech. Looked out at the young trees sprinting. Now, why is this personification? Personification is a figure of speech where human qualities are given to inanimate objects or you know, non-living things. And here we find that the trees are given the human quality of sprinting or running fast. Merry children spilling out of their homes. Merry children spilling out of their homes. It's a metaphor. The comparison here is not direct. It's implied. You know? The fourth figure of speech is worn pale as a late winter's moon. Again, the figure of speech here is simile because the mother's pale face is now directly compared to the paleness of the winter's moon. And the last figure of speech in this poem is in the line smile and smile and smile. Now the figure of speech is repetition because the word smile has been repeated thrice in this line. So uh, with that we come to the end of the poem. I hope you have understood this poem. Okay, so let me summarize the poem once again. The poet is traveling from a mother's house to the airport at Cochin. And she has said she's traveling, she traveled last Friday morning. And she finds her mother sitting beside her, dozing with the mouth open. Her face has become very pale, which reflects that she is sick and she is probably very close to death. It's because her face is ashen and it has been compared to that of a corpse, a dead body. And Kamala Das feels that her mother looks all of her 66 years. She has really grown old. Her mother was once young and beautiful and this transformation really pains the poet. And to distract her mind from these thoughts, she chooses to look out of the car window. When she looks out of the car window, she finds images of young trees sprinting and the merry children rushing out of their homes, children happily running out of their homes and trees appear to be running as the car is moving forward. And she happens to find this, these images a contrast to the image of a mother who is sitting beside her, pale, dull, old, sick and who is also very close to her death. So, the young trees and merry children, they are a vibrant contrast because we find that children and trees, they are young, they are full of life, they are full of energy uh, and in contrast, the mother, she is old, she is sitting inactive in the car and she chooses to distract her mind with these images but finally, she has to accept the reality that her mother is aging and she's close to death. They soon reach the airport and after the airport's security check, she looks at her mother again and she finds that her mother has turned really old and she is looking pale and for an instant, Kamala Das feels that her mother is like the winter's moon. The winter's moon is lusterless, mother's face is pale. The winter is uh, the last season of the year. The mother is at the last stage of her life. She is already old 
and like the winter's moon, she is also slowly moving towards her death. So, what happens to the poet when she thinks of her mother in this way? Definitely, she is deeply pained because she loves her mother a lot. And now, she uh, finds that the childhood's fear starts resurfacing in her. She finds that there is the same ache that she experienced when she was a child, when she thought of her mother dying or when she thought of being separated from her mother. But the poet cannot show her emotions to her mother. She has to reassure her mother that everything is fine and they will meet again. So we find that the poem ends with the poet's uh, lines, see you soon, Amma. And the poet smiles and smiles and smiles. This, the parting words and the smile of the poet signify that, uh, the, signify the assurance that the poet gives a mother that they will definitely meet again. And the smile is just to hide the pain at the thought of losing her mother. So, the poet, despite her desire to be with a mother and to help her in her old age, is unable to do so and she has to leave. And the poem reflects the complexities of modern life, which result in the old people remaining lonely and often suffering all alone by themselves. Thank you. Prudent Scholars, powered by Lupin Pharmaceuticals.